I'm Charles Arnett from Sensor Technic Optical Belt Scale. I'm going to show you today how to install a Sensor Technic Belt Scale. I'd like to show you what components come in the box, how to put it together, and some of the reasons why it's a simpler installation from traditional scales. So we supply a user manual and installation guide. Everything's in here. Each optical belt scale comes shipped in one complete box. I'll open this up here and I'll show you all the components. Fully adjustable mounting frame. You get the user manual. Cat handheld smartphone. The Bluetooth printer. The mounting hardware. The sensor. And wiring harnesses. So I'm going to pull the sides in put some tack bolts into it, set it up, and then we'll go up and install it. Do a reference check. When we check the measurement width on the machine, you want to make sure that it's the same as your frame before you go up and mount it. So in this case, 55 and a half inches. So here we are at the conveyor, ready to do the install. Just want to give you a couple tips on the mounting location. You want to make sure when you're mounting over the head pulley, that you mount the frame center. You'll also notice that we removed the guarding here. This uh, head pulley is adjustable, and if the head pulley is adjusted, you want to make sure the frame moves with it. So we're ready to install the mounting frame. We'll mark the holes, pull it off and drill it. It's a good idea to have two people to do this, just so it's easier to lift it up in place. Uh, the frame's not that light, and you just want to be careful. Now that we have it sitting up here, you want to identify the center point. We've got it mounted center. We're gonna go ahead and mark the holes to drill. So we've got our holes drilled for the frame now. We're gonna pop it in place. Now that we have it secured to the conveyor, we'll put the rest of the frame bolts in and then get the center put in. One thing I just wanna point out is you'll notice these red arrows on the sensor. That's the direction of the material flow. So when I put that up in there, you wanna make sure that's the direction of the material crossing the conveyor. The two in the center are just standard Allen keys with lock washers on them. The two end ones, there's a larger flat washer just to bridge the slotted gap. You don't want to over tighten these. If you have a torque wrench, you can torque them to 25 foot pounds. So we're going to connect the power supply. This is the two and a half meter power cable, which connects to the scale, and then we'll zip tie it to the frame. We want to follow the grease lines and hydraulic lines. So just strap it to the hydraulic lines as you work your way back. And the other end connects to the 15 meter power cable that goes back to the power supply. The brown wire is your 24 volt positive. The blue wire is the 24 volt or your negative. And the green we do not use. You can just get rid of that. So we're going to go ahead and install the inductive switch. In this cable here, we're going to run along the inside. So the inductive switch cables have been all tied in here, nicely put away. In this situation, we tap the end of the shaft. It's very important when you mount the inductive switch and the transmitter that the gap in between them is about three to five mil. We switch the sensor on, and as you can see, there's two red laser points here. These are to identify that it's in the center of the head pulley. Loosen your bolts adjusted as needed. So we've just completed the optical belt scale install. Typical belt scale install is about three to four hours. Uh, easy to install. There's no moving parts, so there's very little maintenance. The reason a lot of our customers buy the optical belt scale is because of its level of accuracy with a 99.8%. For more information and technical support, please contact us at opticalbeltscale.com.